So in this video, we're going to be doing um, the third and final factoring method, snowflake method. You'll also see it called the star or the asterisk method. So here are just some things about snowflake. Um, here you see standard form ax squared plus bx plus c. That is where the snowflake is going to come from. Before you can find a, b, and c, you have to make sure you have it equal to zero if you're solving by factoring. Um, if you're not solving by factoring, just make sure you have everything on the left side. Here is the um, skeleton of the snowflake. You have to always fill in a times c on top, whatever number that is, b on the bottom, ax, and ax. Now, the two blank spots that you see in the highlighted area, that is um, two numbers that will multiply to the top and then add to the bottom. Um, some few sign cases. You'll see that if you have a positive number on top, like the first two examples, if you have a positive number on top um, and a positive number on the bottom, your wings will be positive, positive. If you have a positive number on top and a negative number on the bottom, you'll have negative, negative. So what that tells you, if you have a positive number on top, you look to the bottom sign to tell you what both signs are going to be. Um, same thing, if you have negative number on top, you're going to have opposite signs. One positive, one negative. The bigger number has to match the sign of the bottom. So the bigger factor has to be the same sign as the bottom. That way, when you add or subtract them, um, it will get you the appropriate sign. Make sure before you write your factors, you check that the two numbers that you wrote in to the wings multiply to the top and add to the bottom. All right, so your directions for these will always say factor. So here's my first example, ax squared minus 2x minus 35. So you're going to write out a, b, and c. So you have a, which is the number in front of, in this case, a squared. So I'll have a equals 1, b equals negative 2, and c equals negative 35, so on top, a times c, negative 35, b on the bottom, negative 2, a, x, well in this case the variable is a, so it's actually going to be 1a, 1a, because up here, x just is symbolic of whatever variable I'm using. Now, I need to find two factors that will multiply to 35, and give me a difference of 2. Because 35 is negative, I know that I'm going to be 1 positive, 1 negative. So my factors of 35, I have 1, 35, 5, and 7. So 5 and 7 give me a difference of 2. Now, the bigger number has to match the sign of B, so I'm going to have negative 7, positive 5. It doesn't matter which side these go on. Now from here, I'm looking at the left side, 1a and 5, they don't simplify, so I have a plus 5 as one of my factors because I don't need to write down 1a, so I have a plus 5 as my first factor. My second factor is going to be a minus 7, again, because it doesn't, I don't need to write 1a minus 7, I just write a minus 7. So my two factors are a plus 5 and a minus 7. Alright, so my next example, same thing. Um, I'm going to do a equals 1, b equals 11, and c is 18. So I'm going to do a times c on top, which will be 18, b on the bottom, 11, 1, c, 1, c. Now my factors of 18 will have 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, no 4, no 5, and then they start to repeat. So which two of those will give me um, a sum of 11 because I've got positive on top, positive on the bottom, 9 and 2. Now because 1 and 9 do not simplify, I have C plus 9 and because 1 and 2 do not simplify, I have c plus 2. So 